Good day, learners. I'm Teacher Mase, your Technology and Livelihood Education 6 teacher for today. And welcome you to a new day filled with fun and learning through Facebook Live streaming. But before we start, I want to share something with you. Sean, one of the learners, called me and asked me something. Do you want to know what it is? Let me share her video with you. Good morning, Teacher Masai. Can I ask you something? <gasps> Is it still possible to enjoy eating mangoes during rainy season? Is it still possible to enjoy eating mangoes during rainy season? This is a wonderful question, Sean. Learners, as we all know, mangoes are only available during summer season. About your question, Sean, I know you are watching right now. I will answer your question at the end of our session. For now, let me help you and the other learners out there to explore and to find out the answer in today's lesson. I can see you right now, but I can feel your excitement to learn on how to explain the different ways of food preservation like drying, salting, freezing, and processing. At the end of the session, you should be able to number one, enumerate different ways of food preservation drying, salting, freezing, and processing. Number two, describe each way of preserving food. And number three, appreciate the advantages of knowing different ways of preserving food. Before we begin, type your name, your section, and your school in the comment box. And it is greatly appreciated if you have with you your module, pen, and your paper. I think we are all set. Come and sing with me a song composed by Mr. Carlito Tadlas Jr. TLE will help you to be live ready. Activity, I have prepared five statements. All you have to do is to put a heart emoji if the sentence shows a good plan to sell linen products and a sad face emoji if not. Are you ready? Number one, the use of technology is the best way of selling the product. What is your reaction? The answer is heart emoji. Number two, advertise your product. What is your reaction? The answer is heart emoji. Number three, know your market and customer. What is your reaction?
The answer is heart emoji. Number four. Sell your product at high cost to get a high profit. What is your reaction? The answer is sad face. Number five, find the right place to sell your product. What is your reaction? The answer is heart emoji. Very good learners. I hope you enjoy our activity. After you learned on how to market Finnish household linens in our previous lesson, it is time to enjoy, explore, and unlock another learning. In different times of the year, some foods are abundant, especially fruits and vegetables. There are times when these foods are hard to find in the market and thus they become expensive. Lack of food supply and wastage of excess food are problems that can be solved. Do you believe that? Is it possible that lack of food supply and wastage of excess food are problems that can be solved? What do you think? You can comment down your guess. Is it yes or no? Very good, learners. It's a yes. How? By food preservation. By the way, what is food preservation? Food preservation is the process of preparing food for future consumption by preventing its spoilage. Preserved food like canned goods, processed meat, and dried fish are in demand depending on the needs and situation of the consumers. Food can spoil easily, especially if not properly stored. To make its life longer, we must apply food preservation and techniques. Let us now explore the different ways of preserving food and its advantages by watching this video. Different ways of food preservation and its advantages. Drying. It is the easiest and most common method. There are two ways of drying method. The first one is drying under the sun. It is done by exposing the food under the heat of the sun and eliminate its liquid content. The second one is mechanical dryer uses artificial heated air with the use of a machine. Fermentation Completed by soaking or saturating the food in adequate amount of salt to prevent it from spoiling and improve its flavor. Examples Fermented fish like bagoong and kinamos. The third one is cooling freezing. It's a quick and convenient way to preserve food which are stored in the freezer until they are to be consumed. Examples, eggs, milk, fruits, vegetables, and meat. Smoking, food is exposed near the fire and is smoked until it is cooked. Examples, tinapa and tapa. Boiling, Sterilizing. Food in this process is usually boiled or sterilized in a bottle to kill microscopic organisms. Boiled is sterilized at a temperature of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Canning. Preserving food sealed in cans such as milk, fish, meat, and fruits. Example, sardines, tomato sauce, pineapple juice. 
Adding preservatives. The process of preserving prevents the growth of microbes in the food. This is done by adding sugar, salt, vinegar, and salitre. Sugar. Example is jam. The fruit is mashed and cooked with sugar. Second one is salt. Example, burong manga and mustasa. The next one is vinegar. Example, pickled egg. Advantages of food preservation. Food preservation can result in several advantages, some of which are substantial. This includes increased shelf life. Number two, decreased spoilage, inactivation of anti-nutritional factors. Number three, ensured round the year availability of seasonal foods. Number four, perishable foods that can be transported to far off distances from the site of production. Number five, increase availability of convenience foods like ready to serve beverages, instant mixes. And number six, preservation in some cases produces a different form of the products which are of great importance in various cuisines. Examples, raisins, squash, and wines made from grapes. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from the video. Now, let us see how much knowledge you have gained in our lesson. For our next activity, Identify me. Identify the method used in preserving the following food. Number one, tinapa. The answer is smoking. Very good, kids. Number two, jam. The answer is adding preservatives. Number three, canned milk or canned goods. The answer is canning. Very good, learner. Number four, tuyo. The answer is drying. And number five, bagoong. The answer is fermentation. Very good, learners. Well done. I know that you are enjoying learning in the comfort of your home. Now, get ready for our next activity. Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. Type your answer in the comment box. Number one. This boiling and sterilizing method is used to destroy the most dangerous bacteria. Letter A, boil is sterilized at a temperature of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. B, boil is sterilized at the temperature of 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. Letter C, boil is sterilized at a temperature of 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Letter D, boiled is sterilized at a temperature of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is letter D. Number two, this food is preserved through fermentation method. A, soak or saturate the food in an adequate amount of salt. B. Soak or saturate the food in an adequate amount of oil. C. Soak or saturate the food in an adequate amount of vinegar. Letter D. 
so or saturate the food in an adequate amount of sugar. The answer is letter A. Number three. This preservative is used for making jam. A. Vinegar. B. Salt. C. Sugar. D. Oil. The answer is letter C. Number four. This method of preserving is done by exposing the food under the sun to eliminate its water content. A. Canning B. Fermentation C. Drying B. Smoking The answer is letter C. Drying and number five, this is the food preservation method used by Colleen in preserving sardines. A. Canning B. Freezing C. Sterilizing B. Smoking The answer is letter A. Canning glad that we finish our activity and you really did a great job learners always remember food preservation is done to prevent food wastage and to have a better taste there are ways to preserve food such as drying cooling or freezing adding preservatives fermentation smoking boiling or sterilizing and canning for your assignment, you may start answering the activity on page 23 and post test on pages 24 and 25 of your DLE module. Of course, with the guidance of your teacher, parents, or guardians. Your subject teacher will check your answer tomorrow on your follow-up class discussion. So don't miss the class. Now, let us proceed with our question and answer portion. You may type your question in the comment box. For our first question, let's answer Sean's question. Again, her question is, Is it still possible to eat mangoes during rainy season? Yes, it is still possible by preserving them. You can add preservatives to make jam or by drying them to make dried mangoes. Here's another question from Lindsay of a solo elementary school. My family loves eating burro. Is burro a preserved food? Yes, actually... Puro is a Tagalog word for preserved, fermented, or pickled. Burong isda consists of cold cooked rice and raw filleted fish fermented with salt for around a week. This Filipino dish is common in central Luzon, particularly in the province of Pampanga. Alright, I think you all understood the lesson well and I hope you learned a lot. Before we end our session, let me acknowledge the following. The writers, the editors, the reviewers, and the illustrators, the content validators, the language editors, the layout artists, the management team, and as well as the websites used for today's lesson. Of course, my moderator, Mr. Arlu Bernard J. Cabanero, our IT Mark Joseph Soto, and of course, a special thanks to Sean Gomez and Mrs. Eileen Gomez. That's all for today, learners. I am very glad because we have finished today's lesson filled with so much fun and excitement. Again, 
This is Teacher Maset reminding you that TLE helps you to be live ready. See you next time. Bye!